We'll lower that a little bit. I think that's good. I think that's good. I should really give you guys a heads up when I'm doing this. So unprofessional. Let's wait for some people to hop in. Oh, gosh, I have so much on this desk. What? Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Just trying to organize myself here because I should have did that way before going live. All right, I think that's better. Oh God, okay, there we go. There we go. Let me make this look cute, you know? Thank you so much. How are you guys doing? Next time I really have to give you guys a heads up when I'm going live. I'm testing a new fragrance today. Ooh, okay, you need to share with us. What are you testing? I'm also testing a few new fragrances for you guys. That's why I'm going live. I have some new fragrances in front of me. Will I smell like Rihanna? Hmm, we shall see. So how's everyone doing? Where are you guys talking from? Let me know, y'all already know I am in Canada. Um, I just finished filming three videos. I have so much content going up for the end of this month and December. I plan on doing Vlogmas, so videos every single day in December. Pray for me. Um, I'm just waiting for my vlog camera to come in so that I can do some vlogs for you guys in December. I really want to, you know, be a little bit more laid back with the videos and you guys come into my life outside of the makeup and perfume and um, uh, just do some vlogs. So aside from vlogs, I'm still going to continue with the fragrance videos and makeup and whatnot. So we have Norway, south of Italy. Oh, my God. I want to go to Italy so bad. Um, and uh, let's see. Amber, you are testing out Chanel number no. five. Mm, okay. Let me know your thoughts. I... I don't know. I'm not, I'm not crazy about Chanel fragrances. I don't, I mean, I love the bottles and I think Chanel fragrances are really hyped because of Coco, you know, Chanel, the, the person herself is quite iconic for what she accomplished in her lifetime. Um, there's a lot more to her. I've been reading about, <laughs> I've actually been reading about her and just learning a little bit more of her history. And she's quite fascinating in the way that she grew up very poor and she just made a, a name for herself. Like truly Chanel is a huge brand, but there's way more to her, the stuff that I don't like, but whatever. Um, let's see. Can you do a perfume compare video um, with what? What do you want me to compare? Uh, maybe I missed your first comment there. Uh, Jimmy Choo perfume. Jimmy Choo is nice, but it doesn't last on me. It's it's a nice crowd pleasing scent. You know what I mean? Like I don't find them um, to the point that I would buy myself a full size bottle. If someone was to gift it to me, I would wear it, but I wouldn't buy it necessarily. But um. Do you guys have a drink? Get yourself a drink. You guys know how we do here. I have my uh, red wine. I'm normally a rosé type of person, but this is what I have in the house right now. So that's what I'm drinking. And, um, ooh, this is a strong one. Ooh, this was gifted to me. This is a strong one. Um, yeah, I have some fragrances here that I have been wanting to try out for the longest time, but I thought, why not... Um, come on camera and do that with you guys and show you my initial first impression before I kind of play around with it and then give you guys my full rounded thoughts. Um, someone asked about, what do you think of Vosse Viva? Ooh, girl, I actually just, guys, I have some really great content coming 
in the next couple of weeks. Um, I am going to be having quite a few sponsored videos and I want to put that out there from now so that you guys are aware and are comfortable with it. And I'm very, very blessed and fortunate to have the opportunity to work with different brands, but I want you guys to know that I'm always very honest and I work with brands that I genuinely love and already, you know, purchase myself. Um, so I just wanted to put that out there. So you guys are aware, but it's, um, I'm always going to be honest and I'm always going to partner with brands that I already really, really believe in. So I have some really great video. The, I have a holiday gift guide video coming really soon with some incredible fragrances. Ah, I can't wait for you guys to see that one, but I have played with, um, Valentino's Vosse Viva. Is it Viva Vosse or Vosse Viva? What do you call it? Vosse Viva. Yes. I have played around with it and you guys will hear my thoughts, but just a quick spiel. I think it's a really nice, elegant fragrance, honestly. Like it's nice, it's elegant, it's um fresh, it's sweet, but not overly sweet. It's like a crowd pleasing scent, but a little bit more elevated. You know what I mean? Like I really like it. I really like it. And I like I really like the bottle. It's giving me a little bit of uh, MFK vibes, just a little bit. You know what I mean? It's giving me that vibe, but I like the fragrance itself. Honestly, I, the late, the launches that are being released are pretty bang on. Like Libre Intense was amazing. Um, Giorgio Armani's My Way is amazing. This one is pretty great. Like, they're coming out with some good scents. It's fresh, pretty. Yeah, it's very fresh, sweet, pretty, elegant. It's a really nice scent. Uh, if you have to just use one, if you if you have to just use one perfume forever, which one would it be? Girl, girl, I don't even think I can answer that question. Just one? Oh, hold on. Sorry, there was an email. Just one. I don't. I, I have way more than one. Um, let's see. I said the same thing. The bottle gives me MFK, but yeah, it definitely reminded me of that. As soon as I saw the bottle, I was like, "Hmm, MFK." And I really wanted to ask you guys. Um. This is maybe a project that I'll be doing. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I'm still thinking about it. But what would you guys think if I released my very own fragrance? Hmm? Let me know. Let me know. And if I was to do that, what is your favorite type of fragrance? Gourmand? Do you like something more aquatic? You know me. Me, if I was to release a fragrance, it would be definitely in the vanilla type of realm. You know, something very, <laughs> very gourmandish. It's definitely an idea that I am playing around with. Um, I will put it out there that I have been approached by um, brands to see if I wanted to collab on my very own fragrance. So I wanna know from you guys, there's like 52 of you guys here. What, what do you guys think of that idea? Spicy fra- oh yeah, warm, spicy. That's my type of deal right there. Uh, what do you think about Narciso? Uh, that brand, I don't know. I've tried and I just can't get with it. I, I don't get the hype. I honestly don't. I'm being completely honest. Let's see what you guys are saying about what I said. Do it. Great idea. Warm and cozy. Definitely vanilla. Oh, hell yes. Warm and sexy vanilla. You guys are my people. You guys are my people, okay? <laughs> yeah, it's 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 been on my mind for a couple of months now. And uh, hi, boo. And um, I've been approached. I did get approached by a brand before, and I just wasn't comfortable with their idea of things because if I'm going to create my very own fragrance, I want to have complete control of the entire aspect of it. I want it to be from me by me. You know what I mean? I want to be able to have that control on how it's going to be 
like presented the bottle, the smell, you know, it has to be from me and not just slap my name on it. Like, I don't like that idea. So, um, yeah, but there was another brand that recently reached out that I'm kind of playing around with the idea. So we'll see. We will see. Oh, I don't know why my nose is running. Ugh. I'm happy for you. Thank you so much. Yeah, honestly, um, these past couple of months have been hectic, busy, um, but I'm so happy that I am connecting with such incredible brands. Like recently I did a campaign with Giorgio Armani for their My Way fragrance that is right here in front of me. And I will be doing a giveaway on this fragrance. I have another bottle. Um, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. I'm going to be doing a lot of giveaways in December. Let's just put it there. So turn your post notifications on because I have, uh, quite a few giveaways. I actually just, um, ordered these boxes that I can put things in there. So I'm going to create about 10 to 15 different boxes and I will put a bunch of stuff, skincare, makeup, fragrance. So throughout the month of December, there will be giveaways randomly in different videos, but definitely want to do about 10 to 15 different giveaways for the month of December, because I really want to give back to you guys. And just like, as a thank you, um, that's my way of doing it, right? Because you guys sit down, watch my videos, comment, likes, the, all those things are huge, um, in my field of work, because it tells brands that, you know, you have this community that supports you and um, it makes a really big difference when working with brands. So I, I want to try and find different ways of giving back. And that's one of the ways is doing giveaways. So December is going to be lots of giveaways. How is your new home? My new home is great. It's fantastic. Honestly, I'm so happy. I love love everything about it. There's so many changes that I already want to do. That's just me. Um, but <laughs> I'm trying to appreciate the house for what it is right now. And then maybe next year we'll go into some renovations. Um, but I haven't decorated my room at all. Okay. That's something that I want to do in February, in January, right after Christmas. Cause right now we're focused on, you know, Christmas and gifts and, um, we're still decorating the kids room. So next year I am going to focus on my room because I already have like a vision for it. I want to decorate my room and then renovate our master bathroom. So that's something that I'm already thinking about. Like, why do I do this to myself? I, I, I have a million and one things going on in my mind all the time. <laughs> it's so bad. Um, your hair, I'm always obsessed. Thank you. I went back to my curls. I went back to my curls. As much as I love the blown out look, it's just too much maintenance for me. So curls are back. Curls are back. I actually used this incredible, oh my God, I posted it on my Instagram. If you're not following me there, follow me there. Um, but I posted it on my Instagram. I used this, um, I'll put my Instagram here for anyone who doesn't know what it is. So it's just Karina underscore Waldron. That's my Instagram page. But I used this um, hair treatment thing from L'Oreal, which I was really skeptical because it looked like water, literally a bottle full of water. And it said to use the whole bottle on your head. Uh, normally when I go from straight to curly, I want to do like a nice deep conditioning uh, treatment on my hair so the curls don't get damaged and just revert naturally to its natural state. So I used that treatment and I've never used anything that amazing. Like your hair will literally feel like you just did the most intense, hydrating, nourishing treatment ever in what, a minute? I put that in my hair left it in my hair while I lathered and showered and then rinsed it off. And as soon as you're rinsing off your hair, like it feels incredibly healthy and soft. I'm I'll, I'm sure I'm going to talk about it in a video, guys. I'm sure I'm going to talk. It's upstairs. I don't even remember the name of it, but I'm going to talk about it in a video. Um, I live in Toronto. For those of you who are asking, I live in Toronto. I live in Toronto, but yeah, I have some fragrances here that I want to chat about with you guys. Now that we are all here, 
thank you so much for, you know, hopping on this live. I never notify you guys. I just come on randomly. Next time I have to notify you guys. So I picked up this scent over here. This is from Killian. This is my first fragrance from them. And this is Love Don't Be Shy. Mm -hmm. This is what apparently Rihanna smells like. And everyone smells, everyone says she smells delicious. And I mean, I don't mind smelling like Rihanna. You know what I mean? Like, I don't mind. So this is what I got. I got it during the um, Sephora sale. Quite a pretty... <laughs> It's expensive, even with the sale, just saying. And then I got my first Diptyque fragrance because I've been really intrigued with that brand and the philosophy behind it. I was reading about how they came about and how they were the actual, the first scented candle house in the world was Diptyque, very interesting fact. And then they went on to fragrances because originally I believe they were like a home furniture store. And then they went into um, scented candles and fragrances. So that is Diptyque. And I believe they're in France. Yeah, in France. So I got um, El Dwell. I believe that's how you say it. Um, honestly, the packaging grabbed my attention. That's why I got it. And then I was looking up different scents and different notes. This one stood out to me the most because it's more of like that gourmand scent. Um, next scent that I got was from Carolina Herrera. This was actually gifted to me by the brand. This is their new, um, Supreme Good Girl. I already have the original, I have the Ligere, and then this is the Supreme. They, um, did like an online virtual event yesterday that I attended, which was really cool. We kind of just learned a little bit about Carolina Herrera and her life and just how she started her brand. Cause obviously she started in fashion and then she went on to do some fragrances. So we talked about that. They sent out a beautiful um, assortment of flowers. And now my whole house upstairs smells like flowers. It's like a floral shop. <laughs> I was able to like create three different arrangements with all the flowers. But yeah, we got um, this fragrance here. Obviously, you guys saw that I have the new Valentino fragrance also. And this one was also not gifted to me. It was gifted to me, but it's a part of like a video that's coming up for you guys. Um, so those are, well, I actually have more scents, but are we going to have time? Let me just show you guys. Why not? I have it under here. And I did see that quite a few um, fragrance reviewers received fragrances from this brand over here. Okay. So this is Navitas Parfums. So I got Idola. And then I got um, Soiree Exclusive right there. Let me know if you guys have tried any of the fragrances that I'm mentioning. Oh my God, this is making my table way too heavy. Let me just put it down because I don't want this to collapse. And then they sent me um, a discovery set right over here. So there's quite a few scents to get to, but I'm just going to... I start with the main ones. And then if we have time, we'll get to the other ones because I actually have to leave shortly to pick up my niece and nephews. They're spending the weekend here. And I wanted to do this live before they come because, you know, kids, it's going to be hella loud in my house this weekend. Like, it's going to be crazy. But I'm out of breath. I need a drink. <laughs> the other day, I got a comment from someone saying, you know what? I'm not subscribing to your channel because you promote drinking. Guys, do you, you know what I'm saying? If you don't like what someone's doing, don't check them. It's that simple. <laughs> so let's see. I'm missing the comments here. So would you recommend Libra Intense for winter? Absolutely. Intense is my favorite. Absolutely. If you love vanilla, if you love sweet scents, get the intense version. It is so good. Like, I love it. I love it. Um... Oh, my battery's dying. Hold on. I'm going to yell. Ileana, bring my um my computer charger. It's by the couch. Thank you. Okay, let's get back to this. I'm so professional, right? <laughs> this is terrible. 
Um, a couple of reviewers got Navitas. Yeah, I did see that uh, there were a few that got sense from them, which is kind of cool. Like, I love when brands support influencers. And if they, you know, want us to kind of promote their brands, it's nice that we do get the products because, you know, it's expensive, like creating a whole setup that is professional. Um, like recently, I just bought a brand new lens for my camera that was like, well over 1200. So we definitely, you know, if you're in this as a business and as a career, like that's what I do um, as a full time job, you definitely invest quite a bit of money with your lights and your setup and also products and things like that. So um, that's not the charger. The charger is like plugged in under the table, the little glass table. Yeah. Have you tried Kenzo? No, I have not tried that one. I haven't tried that one, but I did hear that it's really unique. Influences put the time. Oh yeah, you definitely put the time. Before you can actually see some money, you're gonna be doing some videos for free for a while, okay? I've been doing videos. I've been on YouTube for like almost six years, which is kind of crazy when I say that out loud. And I would say consider this a full-time job where I'm getting like a full-time um, income would say, I would say that that's been happening for a year and a half going on to two years now. But before then, I really wasn't seeing anything. So it does, it takes time. It takes time with any job that you get. It takes time, especially if you are starting your own business, because this is like your own business. It takes time. But if you have passion for it, you will dedicate yourself to it and uh, just have fun with it. What lens did you get? I got the, oh, it's over there. Thank you. Oh, let me show them the kitty cat, the kitty cat. You guys, we got a little kitty cat. This is our new baby. Snickers. He's called Snickers. Say hi, Snickers. He's so cute. Oh, I got a little, little email. This is my daughter's cat. It was her birthday yesterday, and that was her gift. She's been bugging me for a kitten for months. Actually, so no, I'm say hi. Oh my God, he's so cute. Looks like a little tiger. He's so adorable. There you go. Thank you. I'm just gonna ask you to plug this in. Never mind. there's a plug back here. Okay. How, oh. how long is this ride? Um, Not long because I have to go get Heaven and Xavier soon. I thought they were coming here. Yeah, well, I have to pick them up. Oh, I thought Auntie Kitty was driving them. No, I'm going to oh. pick them up. Okay, guys, let me I just... Have... We'll see. Let me finish this, okay? Okay. Sorry, I had to plug in my phone. They said happy birthday, Illy. Oh, <laughs> she said thank you. <laughs> and she said hi. Um. Let's see... What was I saying? Yeah, so the lens that I ended up picking up, someone asked, is the Sigma, oh, is it the 85? I don't know. I'm going to link it in my videos because usually if you go in the description bar of my videos, I have the link to my softbox, my camera, the software that I use, and my lens. So I will put it there um, in my next video because I have to switch it over because I was using the Canon 50 um, and the 51, and now I switched it to the Sigma, which is like my favorite lens. It's so good. But I also ordered a new vlog camera, which is one of the little Canon ones, the mirrorless cameras, I think they're called. Um, so I'm just waiting for that to come in so I can, um, vlog for you guys because I can't vlog with that one. It's really heavy, but with the little Canon one, I could do more vlogs, um, that would be cool. I'm excited to do vlogs for sure and do more like, you know, what I eat in a day, cook with me, you know, a little bit more laid back videos. I heard Sigma can hit and miss, but you like it. Honestly, the lens that I got, um, it's more, it's considered affordable for what the lenses go for in terms of like the one that I got, the quality of it, the F-stop. Um, I love it. 
I love it. I'm definitely, if you're into YouTube and you want that um, crisp um, forward, the, like if you're the main subject to be crisp and in the background to be blurry, that is a perfect lens, perfect lens. And it was around 1200, nah, actually with tax, mm, it was expensive. <laughs> Still expensive in my eyes. Anyways, let's talk about these fragrances, guys. We're currently in my little filming setup. I have a little studio in the basement now where I can film, which is very convenient for me because before I was using natural light and the sun would go like up and down and the lighting was just, it was, it was a hot mess. Anyways, which one do you guys want to see first? Diptyque? Killian. Which one are we going to do a first impression? This one, I ripped off the uh, plastic. I was so tempted to smell it. And I was like, don't do it. Let's wait for the people. <laughs> Hold on. My phone is acting up. There we go. I okay, come back. I'm just going to quickly send out a message because my sister is calling me and I don't want to be interrupted one more time. Let's see. Okay. Let's go. Always something, right? My life is like a hot mess sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. Okay, so we have lots of Killian, Killian, Diptyque, Diptyque. I think Killian is winning here. I think Killian is winning. Okay, so before we go on to the two that are like the main event, I'm just going to quickly touch on this one. This is Carolina Herrera's um, Supreme. I mean, how many flankers are you really going to come out? Like, to be quite honest, how many flankers do we need? A oh, good girl. I feel like there's so many different ones, but this is the latest one. This is called the Supreme and the notes are a little bit different. Let's see. I'm going to pull up the notes. Um, for Carolina Herrera Supreme. Let's see. Good girl Supreme. There we go. And we're going to check out Fragrantica because I love that site. I love the new layout now. It's so much easier to understand. So this is the main accords, white flower, vanilla, fruity, woody, aromatic, amber, tuberose, sweet, warm, spicy, earthy. And then um, we have notes of forest fruits, Egyptian jasmine, tonka bean, tuberose, and bedford. Right there are the notes. And I don't know, I believe the top notes are really different from the original Good Girl. Um, I recently smelled Diptych Tempo. I love it. If you like patchouli, you would like that one. I was tempted to get that one because I actually got this one from Nordstrom. They were having a 15% off sale. That's why I went ahead and grabbed this one. And this is the EDT, EDT. T because I heard this is better than the EDP, but now I want to get both, you know, like I'm crazy like that, but yeah. Uh, good girl is amazing, but I agree. They could slow down a bit on the flank guys. Yeah. Like bring me some, give me something new. Let, let, let's put good girl here while she's high, leave her there and bring out something new because I mean, like there's only so much you can change, right? Just bring out a new fragrance. That's just my thoughts. I, I feel like flankers, maybe like two or three, and we're good to like move on. But um, some brands, they just, they keep them going. It's just like makeup, like the Naked series from Urban Decay. It's like, how, like, can we just not? But I love Good Girl, but I just think it's, 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 it's the most, you know what I mean? Um, let's see, Diptyque, EDT or EDP. I have the EDT of Oduel. Um, I like that one better than the original good girl. It's delicious. Okay. You like this one better than, okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to grab, um, the original one, one second guys. Cause I want to compare them. I should have been prepared. I'm, I'm terrible at this. I'm terrible. Is my, okay. All right. Okay. I'm back. I have all my fragrances 
lined up there. Um, I will do a video on how I store my fragrances now for you guys in December. So you guys will get to see that. But here is the original Good Girl. And this is the new Supreme. Let's see what you guys are saying. It's not my favorite either, but I think it's made for people that don't like the original Good Girl. Okay. Supreme Dry Down, same as the original. Okay. Uh, you might be right. From Germany, love your videos so much. Have you ever smelled the fragrance of Nicki Minaj or Britney Spears? Um, no, I actually haven't. I I'm going to be honest. I'm not a huge like celebrity fragrance person. I, I don't know why. They just don't really get my attention. I haven't had the best experiences with a ton of celebrity fragrances. So I don't really like... Like when it comes to fragrances, I have stopped just buying them because they're cheap. I used to do that all the time. I used to buy it because I was like, wow, this is so cheap. Let me just get it. And then it just sits there. So I just stopped doing that. And a lot of the celebrity scents are like $20 at Shoppers Drug Mart. But I just stopped doing it. <clears throat> um, okay, so this is the original Good Girl. Oh, I love it. I love it. It's like date night. Just... Just pull this out. Your man's going to love you. My husband loves sweet scents on me. When I wear like my bolder unisex Udi scents, he's like, stop. <laughs> it's not his favorite. But if I pull out a good girl or a, um, a flower bomb, he's all over me. That's how he is. He just loves sweet scents on me. And then this is Supreme. I actually, I'm going to spray it on my hand here. I mean, I'm going to spray the good girl original. Ooh definitely bursts of fruits. I'm talking like blue blueberries, raspberries, strawberries. That's what I get in the opening right away. But with this one, it doesn't smell fruity in the opening. Yeah. Okay. There's a big difference in the opening right away. The big difference in the opening. Why is this more faint than the other one? I'm going to spray some more. Okay, this one smells a lot more fruity, the Supreme, than the original, 100%. Um, yeah, most people complain about certain notes. Supreme is stripped back, in my opinion. Okay. Yeah, I want to say that the Supreme is a little bit more toned down in its sexiness. It's turned into more of a crowd-pleasing scent. I'm getting more hits of fruity notes in here than anything. It's still warm. Yeah, it's still like a nice warm uh, evening type of scent, but I feel like the original Good Girl just has a little bit more sensuality to her. She's a little bit more provocative, while this one is a little bit more fresh and fruity. It's a little bit more bitter, I'm assuming because of the fruit notes. Let me see what notes did we pull. Two bros. Mm, okay. Yeah, I still like the original one. I'm going to be honest. I still, I still prefer the original one. It's just a little bit more dark and sensual. There's still that sweetness in there. I think the cocktail of fruits in here just make it a little bit more... It's a little bit more approachable. If you're scared of the original, which I don't know why you'd be scared of it, but I think that this one is just a little bit more fruity. If you want any fruity notes in there, like raspberries and things like that. I get the, the jasmine in here also. I'm not getting much of the tonka bean, to be honest. But yeah, it's like fruity notes with like this, a little bit of this, bitterness I don't know like this greenness like someone said forest fruits like what do you mean what do you even mean <laughs> I didn't say forest fruits I said fruitiness yeah it's more fruit and I like the original I like the original a lot better to be honest actually I put I picked up the wrong one the original is this one here 
I don't know. It's not, it's still nice, but if I was to choose between the two, I would go with the original. Um, would you consider doing a fragrance one-on-one or do you already have one? I love fragrances. What do you mean by one-on-one? What, like, please, please tell me more. Um, the Supreme smells nothing like the original. The original is perfect. The Supreme pulls super medicinal to me. Mm, I get what you're saying from that. Yeah, I get what you, because there's a little hint of like this bitter tone to it. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know what it is, but there is like a bitter tone to it. Um, a lot of celebrities really don't care about their fragrances, but especially um, Trini Girl from Nicki Minaj is unique and beautiful. Okay, yeah, I do agree. A lot of celebrities do not care about the scents that, that are coming out. It's just they sign contracts with these manufacturing companies. They put their name on it. They get um, a percentage of the sales and they're good to go. They're not really formulating anything, you know what I mean? So, because I, I doubt that Beyonce is uh, wearing heat. I mean, I, I really doubt it, you know what I mean? Uh, like about the sense categories. Oh, yeah. Um, definitely. That's that's a video that I kind of wanted to do, like, like um, explaining some of the terminology, which is something that I'm still learning, uh, explaining some of the um, categories and things like that. That's a really good idea. That's a really good idea. I find Good Girl has a really present hairspray-ish vibe to me. Really? <laughs> I don't get that in the original one. Uh, forest fruits in the description, I'm guessing and a cross of fruits and greenery. Yeah, you you said it perfectly. There's like, it's a fruit, but like there's this greenery background to it. It's like, you know, when you pull like raspberries that are growing from the ground and they still have the green leaves and stuff like that. That's what it smells like. Do you know what I mean? Like when you're pulling strawberries and it has still the green leaves and the stem, you still get the greenness in this one. Yeah. It's a lot more subtle, like even when it dries down. Yeah, no, I still like the original one. I still like the original one. Okay, I know that's right. Beyonce is definitely not wearing heat, right? She ain't, and no, she's not. And Britney Spears is not wearing circus. No, they not. Um, do you think Siobhan, she? Launter D. I learned how to say that <laughs> for the for everyone that went crazy because I mispronounced it. I, I'm I'm training myself to say it properly. <laughs> um, is uh, do I think that uh, Launter D intense is similar to Li Libra intense? Absolutely not. Totally different. Totally different. <laughs> Um, Libra Intense is a sweet vanilla with a gorgeous, um, like freshness to it. And then Launter D Intense is a very spicy, warm fragrance that is, um, peppery. It's sexy. Uh, the sesame seed just does something incredible to it. Different vibes for sure. Uh, Libra Intense is more casual to wear while, uh, Launter, Launter D, Launter, Launter, Launter D Intense is a little bit more, you know, dressed up, you know, maybe lingerie style, something like that. I hope that makes sense. Um, he is really weak when it comes to performance. Completely agree. I used to have it and I got rid of it. Just, yeah, no, my husband actually got that for me. He's like, I thought you would like it. Mm, get me Killian next time. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Love from Paris. Do you know a Nick Gutal? No, I don't know that brand actually. But Heat was my fave when I was sixteen. That's okay. That's when you're just getting into fragrances. You know, you start you start here, and then you work your way up to five forty. <laughs> oh my gosh. I do think Paris cares. Uh, I swear the YouTube grammar police are a trip. They are. Listen, sometimes I get some crazy comments 
about the way I pronounce things. I'm like, g g does it really? I have never gone on a YouTube video and the way someone said something made me uh, feel offended. Like, never. I, I just, I, I don't really... I don't really care if I know what you're talking about and you're holding the bottle. Let's get on with the show, you know? <laughs> so, hey, every everyone is different. Everyone is different. Bless them. I just, I say I'll pray for you. How about that? So let's get on to the next one. So Killian won. We're going to leave Diptyque to last, okay? So um, we're going to try Killian. Let's just do some uh, some sounds here. Oh, satisfying. Okay. My first Killian fragrance. Packaging. Very nice. Has a little bit of texture to it. Um, definitely a sturdy box. I need to take a sip of this before I open it. So before I open it, before I smell it, my questions are, is it worth the price point? Because this is expensive. Is it worth the hype? Because it's really hyped up. And how is this going to make me feel? Okay, there we have Killian. Let me pull up the notes before we open it and be prepared to talk about it. Um, if you have this fragrance, let me know. Do you have this one? Love, don't be shy. Oh, it's just don't be shy. Why did I think it was love, don't be shy? Oh, it is love, don't be shy. On the packaging, it just says, don't be shy. Hmm. Oh, Love by Killian. Okay, clearly this is my first fragrance. So the main accords is sweet, white floral, vanilla, caramel, citrus, powdery, musk, and animalic. This is from the Fragrantica website. Whoever created Fragrantica, bravo. You must be banking right now. <laughs> and this was created in 2007. This is the perfumer right over here. I'm starting to kind of study perfumers. MFK is definitely my favorite, but um, I want to get um, acquainted with way more of them, especially the female perfumers. I want to get more acquainted with them. Uh, let's see if we have anyone. Hey, my girl Sheree is here. Hey, boo. Uh, let's see. Uh, I love Baccarat Rouge 540. I love it too. It's one of my favorites. I got Killian Holiday Set two weeks ago. Nice. Um, it's a good one. Does anyone have this fragrance? I do have several. Uh, no, no more blind buying unless I return it. Oh, hold on, guys. Hold on. Hello? Okay. Okay, give me give me ten minutes. I'm just on a on a live. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No problem. Okay. Okay. Bye. We have fifteen minutes to finish this show. All right. So, so let's talk about the notes here. Let's see. Um, I like it. I have the travel size only because I don't have the coin for the full bottle. <laughs> Girl, I know it's expensive, but I don't know what I would buy if I would buy it. Okay. I really enjoy this fragrance. I recently purchased it as well. Good. This is Love Don't Be Shy. Yes, I do have it. It's very nice. Mm, very nice. That's not, that's not really make, that's not convincing me. Okay. So top notes, we have neroli, pink pepper, bergamot, coriander, middle notes, orange blossom, jasmine, honeysuckle, and rose, and iris. Base notes is where the sugar comes in. We have caramel, vanilla, sugar, musk, and civet. I don't know what that is. It has a, a picture of an animal. Okay, that's weird. So let's try it out. Ooh, I just, I love when brands make it an experience, like opening the bottle. I like that. So when you open it up, this is what you have. This card over here. Um, I think it just talks a little bit about the fragrance. 
and all of that good stuff. So I like that. And then here is the fragrance right here. I got the 50 ml bottle. Yes, I did. I got the 50 ml bottle, 1.7 fluid ounces. So here is that bottle. She's a beauty. She's a beauty. Oh my God. Okay, there we go. Very heavy. There's 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 uh, some weight to this bottle. It's definitely high quality. I will say that. Like, look at the details here. Can you guys see that? So we have some detail over here. Right there. The front, the back is plain. Just showing you guys all the details. So it's not magnetic, just so you know. I do like a magnetic closure. This just has a little, um, it really does pull it, like it doesn't pull it, but it stays put, but it's not magnetic. And then you have the K right over here. You know what fragrance I really wanted though? The new one, Angels something. What is it called? The new fragrance from Killian, but it was sold out at Sephora. So I'm waiting for it to come back and I can, um, get that and uh, talk about it. But here it is. So let's see, it's unique to me while also reminds me of a few things. Okay. Um, let's see, trying to decide between love, don't be shy and rolling in love. Rolling in love, I almost got it, but I felt like it was going to be heavy on the two bros. And I really don't like when fragrances are heavy on the two bros. Maybe it's that one that I'm talking about. So I did not get that one. Um, I have this fragrance and I love it. It's so unique. Okay. I did talk to another, um, fragrance reviewer and she's, I'm not going to disclose her name because I don't think she did a video on it yet. She said she doesn't find it unique. It's just very sweet. Um, she likes it, but she doesn't feel it's worth the price point. Angel share is good. Yes. That's the fragrance to write. You're on the money. That's the fragrance that I wanted to get angel share. Um, but they were sold out at Sephora. Roses on ice more. Oh, someone like roses on ice more. I almost got that one, but I didn't. I really wanted Angel Share. Um, it's a bit boring. Okay. I love the bottle. It's very pretty. It is very pretty. Okay. So let's go ahead and sp do I have a paper? I want to do it on paper first. I'm, I'm just going to use this one here. Okay. Right away, I'm getting like caramel. Like that's what I got, like just in the air. Okay. Hmm. It's fresh, but I'm getting like hits of like caramelly vibes, sugar for sure. On paper, it's not doing much for me. Let's find an area on my skin that's not filled with perfume because I just filmed. Okay. The mister is not my favorite, like look. It's not, it's kind of abrasive. It's not like a fine mist. That's just me being picky and being very detailed. Mister is not my favorite. Marshmallow Vibes is a bit sweet. Um, let's see. What? Okay. I need to let this dry down because the opening is not impressing me. Sorry, guys. The opening is not impressing me. <laughs> the opening, I'm getting more of this very faint, sweet vibe with caramel. It's drying down and it's becoming a little bit more sweet. I'm not picking up the vanilla in this one. I'm getting rose, but not picking up 
um, like the jasmine. And I didn't really pick up the pink pepper. It did have like a fresh element in the opening. I believe there was like bergamot in here in the opening and maybe another fresh like element, but wow, I have to like put my my hand on my nose to actually smell it. What is, what? Let me just read the comments real quick. <sighs> oh, I wanted this one. You will, okay, you will like it more as it dries down. This is why I tried so many samples. It's not what I expected either, but it's cool, but I don't want a full bottle, okay? Give it 10 minutes and it will get orange marshmallow, okay? Love Don't Be Shy is good, but too much, too much for my for skin. Uh, sent to me, okay, Rolling in Love makes me think of a gum you got in hockey cards. <laughs> I mean, for the price, all these details are important. Yeah, that's true. I'm sad you don't like it. I didn't say I don't like it yet. I'm just saying that it's... Mm, I mean... I'm... I, I don't get it yet. Like, I don't get it yet. I'm gonna let it... I'm gonna, I'm gonna spray... I'm gonna spray one more time. And I'm gonna let that dry down. And we're gonna come back to it. But first impressions is... It's just there. It's... Sweet. The opening is bright. You definitely get the berg bergamot in this one. And as it's drying down, I pick up some of the rose note in here. I'm not getting much of orange blossom, blossom, jasmine. I'm not getting much of that. A little of the iris. And the caramel starts to pull through quite quickly. Honestly, once it starts to dry down, you will get like that caramel vibe, the sugary vibe, but we're gonna, we'll come back to this one. Let's go on to the next one because I gotta leave soon. Diptyque. This is Odwell and this is the 50 ml. Um, I got this at Nordstrom. This one I got from Sephora with the um, VIB sale. This one, Nordstrom was having a 20% off. Lately, a lot of the department stores are having sales. So keep your eye open um, for any fragrances that are more like niche houses or more expensive so you can get a little savings. Uh, Nordstrom was having a 15% sale on a lot of different fragrances, including... Um, Bacarat Rouge 540. I did post it on my um, community section of YouTube. Um, I'll try. I don't know if you guys like that. I see other um, influencers posting like sales on their community section. If you guys want me to do that, let me know. It is affiliate link. So if you buy it through my link, I do make a small commission just to be completely transparent. And I know a lot of people do use affiliate links, but just so you know. So, oh, dwell. Oh, dwell from Diptyque. Um, e D E D T. I'm just gonna pull up the notes real quickly before we open it. Um, so this was a 2010 creation, aromatic. Oops, aromatic vanilla, fresh, spicy, warm, spicy, amber, powdery, woody, soft, spicy, sweet. I'm gonna run this really quickly because I gotta log off real soon. Um, we have bourbon vanilla, uh, cardamom, juniper, pink pepper, black tea, ambergris, um, bergamot, saffron, musk. Okay. Um, I did take the plastic off. The bottles are stunning. Like I want more just for the bottle. I don't know. I love this bottle. This bottle is pretty, does have quite a bit of weight to it also. I really, really like the shape of the bottle. I like the design here. And I did hear that Diptyque is a very like artistic -y brand. Um, they do create their sense with the notes that they want to use. But at the end, they throw in a note that they just kind of throw in a note to create something different. That's what I heard about it. So that's really cool to know. And again, here is the bottle. And the back looks like that. This is Odwell. 
and the cap right there has diptyque. Not magnetic cap also. You just kind of pull it and there we have it. Uh, I'm gonna use the box to spray. I did hear this is more of a, ooh, guys, I can smell it already. <laughs> this is supposed to be more of a gourmand, uh, like bourbon vanilla type of scent. That's why it, like got my attention. <sighs> okay, this is what I'm talking about. Okay, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna spend the big bucks, this is what I'm talking about. I need to feel it as soon as I open it. If you like Angelique Noir from Guerlain, this is very similar, but it's a little bit more green. The vanilla is a is deeper. It's definitely a deeper vanilla, like a darker vanilla. The greenness in here is beautiful. Stop it right now. Okay, let's spray that on the skin. Oh, guys, I love this one so much. Opening is a burst of freshness, citrusy. That's what you're gonna get as soon as you spray it. It's citrusy. Drying down, it gets green and it gets vanilla. The vanilla is like climbing up there. Oh yeah. It's like a little bit of a bitter green. Let me see the notes again. There's black tea in here. Yeah, it's a little bit herbally. There's cardamom in here. Oh, oh my God. I love this one. I love this one. This, yeah, yeah, 100%. This one is my type of scent. If you like vanilla, but a unique vanilla, not your sweet, um, girly vanilla. It's a unique vanilla. There's freshness, there's citrusy, there's greenness, but it's still quite sweet but a deeper vanilla. Oh my gosh, I love it. Again, Angelique Noir. If you like that one, you're gonna like this one. Now I wanna try the EDP because the EDT is quite stunning. I'm gonna wear this tomorrow to see the lasting ability, the sillage, to let you guys know in an upcoming video, but I like it. I like it a lot. I'm glad I got this and I got it 15% off free shipping. Definitely worth it. Oh my. It's so good. Oh yeah. Yeah. A very unique vanilla. I love it. I love it. It's starting to warm up. It's developing. Yeah. It's starting to warm up on the skin. Oh my gosh. Okay. That one is good. Let's just kind of revisit um, Killian on paper. I don't, I, is it just my skin is eating the fragrance? Because I'm not, I'm just not, I'm just not. I'm kind of, I'm kind of disappointed. Wow, really? Look at this stunning bottle. Yeah. Um, Killian, love don't be shy. She's really shy because I'm not smelling her. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not getting the vibe. I'm not getting the feels that I thought I would get. If this is what Rihanna smells like, I mean... She must be, she must be layering this with something else. Mm, like right now, right now in this moment, I don't think it's worth the price point. I mean, for the bottle, it's absolutely stunning. For the, the scent, 
I'm going to try, I'm going to try, I'm going to use this one tomorrow to see the longevity. And then I'm going to play with this one on Sunday and it will be in an upcoming video, but I'm glad you guys got to see my first impression because <laughs> I don't know, but the diptyque, get it, get it. Okay. It's good. Oh. <sighs> See how fragrance just gets me going a little crazy? Like, I feel like I'm out of breath. But, um, yeah, guys, this is my little unboxing for today. I have more fragrances, but I'm going to leave them for another live video. Maybe we'll do another live Monday. Um, but, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let's see. Yeah, that's why I'm not sure I wanted a full bottle. Tomorrow, fresh out the shower, spray it on myself. And maybe it's mixing with other scents that I have going on from like filming. I'm gonna give it a chance. I promise I'm gonna give it a chance. If you want a marshmallow scent, uh, Dolce and Gabbana, Pour Femme Intense. I wasn't even going for a marshmallow scent. I was just, I, I was really curious about this fragrance because it's well talked about. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for this live. I'm probably going to leave it on my account so you guys can revisit if you want. And I will see you all on the next video. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. And have yourself a great evening wherever you are. Thank you for all the love and support. Bye, guys.